Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> My throat feels really weird. So today I'm gonna to be doing a is it really worth it kind of hyped up product video. And it's actually gonna be on two palettes and they are two Morphe palettes and they are these two right here. We have the 35O palette, which has some really beautiful neutral brown ready tones and a couple of pops of shimmers in there as well. And then we also have the 35OS. And in here, there are basically all shimmers. I was just on Instagram Live and I did my base makeup. And basically I asked you guys whether you wanted to see one look using one palette and another look using the other palette, or do you just want me to use them collectively and give you my thoughts on them? And if I like the palettes, then of course, I will be doing one of my three-in-one kind of makeup looks where I use one palette and create three looks. So fingers crossed. <laughs> so fingers crossed that I do like these palettes and they do live up to the hype and then I could do those videos for you guys. So all of my makeup is already done. I may change the lip depending on what eye makeup look I end up doing. But my eyelids are also primed and ready to go. I used my usual Benefit Air Patrol and then I set them in place with my Kick Ass Soap and Glory Powder. So I am ready to go, but the first thing I wanted to do is I want to swatch some of the colors. I am gonna swatch some of the matte colors from here. I'm gonna swatch four and I'm gonna do the same with the other palette. So I'm gonna grab the 35O palette and I'm going to take these four shades and swatch them for you guys. So to give all of the swatches a fair test, I did swirl my finger seven times. I know that's pretty excessive, but I did go round in a circle seven times on the pan of the eyeshadow, and then I did a single swatch on my hand. And off the bat, they are pigmented, but they are quite chalky. I purposely only swatched four matte shades, and that's because the other palette has all shimmers in there but I can kind of see that they are a little bit powdery and a little bit chalky, which isn't a bad thing. It all depends on how they apply with a brush at the end of the day, but this is what four of the matte shades look like swatched. Moving to the 35OS palette, I'm gonna be swatching these four shades, and I'm gonna be using the exact same swatching method that I did in the first palette, and I'm gonna be swatching four of the shades which really stand out to me. Right off the bat, again, the swatches are a little bit, not chalky, but if I blow at them, like the top layer of like excess product has come off. Maybe that's because I went round too many times. But this palette excites me so much more than the 35O palette. Just because I have so many matte kind of palettes already. This one to me personally, I just feel like I don't have many of these shimmery shades. Pretty much all of these shades are really, really beautiful. And if they apply on my eyelids like these swatches, then I will be very, very happy. But it all depends on obviously the fallout. And when you pick up product with a brush, it is obviously different to your fingers. So I'm gonna wipe my hand and I'm gonna start doing some kind of eye makeup look using both of these palettes. I have brought you guys up a little bit closer so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And if you guys aren't new to my channel, you will know that I love working from top to bottom when it comes to my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades and apply them to my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. They are applying really nicely onto my eyelids. So far I am impressed. There isn't too much fallout on the palette itself. Like it's not kicking up any excess powder, which is good because that means that your eyeshadow palettes and your pans are actually gonna last a lot longer. So now I'm going to build up the crease and because the 35O palette has a lot of matte shades, I'm gonna be using that to really blend out the crease area and the transition shade. I'm gonna take this shade right here on a 228 Zoeva brush and I'm gonna slowly build that transition shade before we go in with any kind of dark colors. This is just gonna map out that area so we know exactly where to build color onto. That was relatively easy to blend out. Because the swatches on my hands were so chalky, I was kind of not looking forward to using the matte shades, but they did blend out really well, which I'm pleasantly surprised with. But now we are gonna go and build that crease up because I feel like I wanna do a cut crease. So to deepen that up, I'm taking these two shades right here and really working them in to the crease and hopefully they are just as easy to blend. Again, these shades have been really easy to blend out. Because there's been so much hype about these palettes, I kind of was assuming that they would be really rubbish, but I am pleasantly surprised and they are very, very easy to work with. I do have to say that the two shades that I have used do have quite a bit of powdery like fallout on the pans. So I definitely feel like there is a bit of inconsistencies with the single eyeshadows, but 
that's okay. For the price you actually pay, you do get a ton of eyeshadow shades. I personally got mine from Cult Beauty. I was on the waiting list for ages um, to get my hands on them as soon as they came back in stock. And when I got the email, I kid you not, I was in Starbucks and I rushed to buy them. Anyways, that's just a random story of how I got a hold of mine. But now I'm gonna go and deepen the outer corners using this shade right here. And I want this to be really intense because we need to make sure that when we go and cut the crease, there is a good kind of difference between where you've cut the crease and where the original original colours are in the transition and outer corners. So that shade was really pigmented. Again, I do have some fallout within the pan, but it's nothing too excessive. It's kind of the same as the transition two shades that I used previously to this, but it is a very, very, very pigmented. Like I'm dabbing it into the pan like three times and I'm getting a really good amount of pigment but it is falling underneath my eyes, even though I am packing it on to my lids. But it's okay because we can fix that. Taking that same Zoeva 228 brush, I'm just gonna go in and blend away the edges so that they don't look crazily harsh on the eyelids. And surprisingly, even this is really easy to blend out. I thought this would be quite difficult, um, but it's blending out really, really well. I'm gonna do the sweep test to see how easily it comes off. I mean, it's not ruining the makeup underneath my eyes, so I think we are, uh, we're good to go. Now I'm just quickly cutting the crease. I will leave a link to my cut crease tutorial in the info box below, but I'm gonna cut my crease using the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay, and then we'll be ready to pack some shimmers onto the lid. So the crease has been cut and now I'm going to set that into place using this shade from the 35O palette. So I want to do a bit of like a faded cut crease, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here from the 35O S palette and I'm going to apply that into the inner corners of the eyelids where we've cut that lid. I had to dip the colour in quite a few times to get it as intense as I wanted it to be, but I'm guessing I could have avoided that by spraying my brush with some Fix Plus spray. But I actually want to see how these eyeshadows perform without any additional help. The next shade I'm going to add is this one right here, and I'm going to add that right next to that icy kind of white champagne colour that we've applied in the inner corners. And then next to that colour, I'm going to add this beautiful copper shade right here, and I'm going to sandwich that in between the dark shade that we've got in the outer corner and that goldy shade in the, towards the inner corner. Because I've already swatched this colour, like, with my fingers, there's a lot of fallout on the pan itself, and I can kind of feel it on my face, but hopefully that can just swipe right away, but I'm really liking, like, the colour payoff of it. I think it is quite intense. Um, I do have to go into the palette a couple of times to get it as intense as I want it to, but overall I'm really enjoying the way that it's applying and the way that it's kind of looking on the eyelid as well. Like it looks really nice and blended, it still looks quite pigmented, it doesn't really look patchy, but the only thing is, is because I swatched it two times with my fingers on the palette, you can see right here, it's kind of like flaking off, which means that there's a lot of fallout on the palette itself. But I'm hoping once that fallout has kind of been used up, I won't have to worry about like losing all the eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure all the colors are really nice and blended in together because I feel like some of the shades are a little bit hidden away. So I'm just fixing them up a little bit and then I'm gonna deepen the outer corners because I feel like they are slightly getting hidden as well. I always find that this happens whenever you do a cut crease, that certain shadows can take over others. Because I know this one is quite powdery, I'm, I'm really pushing that into the skin so I get the least amount of fallout on my face. Overall, I really like the way that the eyeshadow is looking, but now I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. Before I do that, I'm just gonna make sure I'm flicking away any fallout that's on my face. Because I could feel it happening when I was doing the shimmer colors. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna use mattes, and the first shade I'm gonna go in is with this one from the 35O palette, and I'm gonna use that as a base before we deepen it up. And then going in with the same shade we used on the outer crease to deepen up the lower lash line. So guys, I am back. I have just switched my lip color up because the other one was looking a little bit too pink. And I've just added a winged eye and some lashes on and sorted out my eyeliner and things. 
But now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the two Morphe palettes, specifically the two most hyped up Morphe palettes, and that is the 35O and the 35OS. And my thoughts on these two are that for 35 eyeshadows, let me just double check there is 35. Yeah, that clearly the 35 stands for the number. Um, but for 35 eyeshadows and for this retailing for 20... £3.50 on Cult Beauty is actually a really, really, really good value for money item. Palette-wise, um, I mean, you can't go wrong with an eyeshadow palette which has all of these shades and is only £23.50. But saying that, they aren't the most, like, incredible eyeshadows that I've tried. For example, I love ABH, I love Urban Decay, I love Zoeva. Those, to me, are really, really kind of, like, standout eyeshadows, whereas these palettes are just really good value for money. When it comes to um, my preference on the two, I have to go with the shimmer palette. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not that much of a shimmer girl. However, if you are kind of starting off with makeup, then the 35 O palette is a really good palette to start off with because you do have a few shimmers in there so you can create different kinds of makeup looks. And speaking of makeup looks, with 35 eyeshadows, you could probably do like a kajillion different makeup looks. Um, obviously that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean, like you can get a lot of good use out of these. They are quite big, so, um, so not the best travel friendly kind of palette. But saying that again, with the price point, you can't really go wrong. And also both of these are neutral palettes, so you can't really go wrong with a color choice. I know they do a whole bunch of different palettes. I've got quite a few, uh, but I've never really cracked them open. But because these two have had so much hype recently I wanted to make sure I got my hands on them and that I gave them a go especially like as a first impressions for you guys to see but I really wanted you guys to see my first impressions on camera so we could kind of do this together um, but the overall look and the overall kind of blendability and obviously the price point and the quality of the eyeshadows you cannot fault I know I do have one eyeshadow palette which is quite patchy it's the one that I created a Shea Mitchell makeup look on and this was like a couple of years ago on my channel. Um, I wasn't wowed about that, but these two palettes in particular, I do really like. And I feel like I will get a lot of use out of them. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if I did like these palettes, I will definitely do two separate videos creating three different looks using the palette. So hopefully that can give you guys an idea of what kind of looks you could create with them and whether or not you want to go out and get them. I personally do not have a Morphe code or anything like that, so I can't actually offer you any kind of discount. But there are loads of other beauty bloggers who do have discount codes. I'm sure if you just Google it or search for it on Twitter, you'll be able to get like some sort of percentage off. Um, but like I said, I'm from the UK and I got mine from Cult Beauty. I just find Cult Beauty so much easier. I don't have to wait for a really long time for them to arrive or anything like that, and it's just easy for me. So yeah, those are my final, final thoughts. I really like these palettes, and I'm really glad I did get them, although I do have way too many neutral palettes for my own good. I am so happy that I got these. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what other products that you want me to do a first impressions on like this, or like overhyped products that you want me to kind of talk about on camera, because I would love to know. And also, if there are any eyeshadow palettes that you want me to do my kind of three looks, one eyeshadow palette kind of makeup video. These two palettes and the ABH Modern Renaissance palette are on my list already. Um, but before this video outro gets so long, I'm gonna get going. If you haven't subscribed already, it's free and the button is just down there. So please don't forget to subscribe so that way you are kept up to date with all of my new videos. And if you do want a notification every time that I post a video, click the bell next to the subscribe button and that will bring up a pop-up on your phone to let you know when I've uploaded. So I guess that is all for now, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this video, but hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.